Hi everyone, I'm Bita Delisi, and in this video we're going to talk about when is a tenant's behavior considered harassment or interference? Many times we get landlords who call in and they say, uh, hey Bita, the tenant hasn't paid their utilities, can we give them notice to move? Or the tenant's causing a disturbance, or the tenant's having too many loud parties, can we give them notice to move out? Here's what all landlords need to know about, about the tenant's behavior when it comes to harassment or interference. It's not uncommon that a landlord and tenant live in the same complex. The most common type of rental property is a residential home where the landlord decides to rent out the basement. Oftentimes when landlords and tenants are living so close in proximity, disruptive behavior may arise from the tenant. Some of these disruptive behaviors can be having loud parties, uh, drinking, shouting, having, loud, having guests over when things get out of hand, or violence and often fighting. And this type of behavior can lead to the loss of enjoyment of the rental property when it comes to the landlord living there. The landlord can proceed with an eviction process and serve the appropriate notice to stimulate an eviction process by going through the landlord and tenant board. That notice must be served to the tenant, appropriate documentation must be included to support that notice, and it must be filed with the landlord and tenant board. Then the board will hold a hearing in which the parties can defend themselves or the tenant can contest that notice. Oftentimes on harassment or interference, it does not lead to an eviction per se. It often leads to an order to comply, which means that the tenant is given a slap on the wrist and basically said, is, is told by the board that in order for you to continue your tenancy, you must be on good behavior. We hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions regarding behavioral uh, issues regarding harassment or interference, call us first.